Hello guys and welcome back to another Stalker Anomaly mod list. This time I'm going to show you 11 mods that add realism and add more survival mechanics to the game. This mod list is perfect for ZCP or even if you want to play Warfare mode. So let's start with some major realism mods. Macredux is a mod that adds magazines to all the guns in the game. Each gun will automatically have a magazine inside that you can eject, refill with bullets and then reload just like in real life. It has a lot of features that can be accessed from the MCM menu, like you can display the magazines that you have equipped on you on the HUD. You can also mix your bullets in the magazines, or you can take bullets from one magazine and refill it to the other. One thing you need to know is that the outfit that your stalker is wearing affects how many magazines you can carry on your current loadout. There are many types of magazines, including extended magazines. Magredux also has patches for modded weapons and weapon packs. This next mod can also help you with realism when it comes to weapons. It's called Weapon Parts Overhaul. This mod allows you to take and remove internal parts of your weapon, clean them and replace them as required. With a multi-tool you can get the option to remove the internal parts of the weapon you want. And then you can individually clean the internal parts of the weapon allowing you for a quick and effective way to keep your guns clean and function properly without going back and forth to the technician. Let's kick it up a notch by also adding work tool add-on. This is a mod that allows you to use smithing tools that you can find in the game without using vice or going to a technician. This allows you to repair any weapon just like a technician if you find the correct cleaning parts that you need. Also it allows you to craft things on your own. Very handy if you're playing warfare mode or if your favorite technician died. I use this mod with weapon parts overhaul which allows me not only to repair my guns and craft things for my survival playthrough in ZCP but allows me to restore and repair old bullets so I keep my guns loaded with pristine ammo. If you have ever played any survival game you know that the most important thing is not just weapons but also food and shelter so you can combine these three mods together. So the first mod that can help you achieve this is called RZ's Campfire Roasting which allows you to roast and cook meat on campfires. Sorry vegans, but with this mod you can extend your chances to survive on your own. Now what about water you say? Fillable canteens allow you to fill canteens from any water source that you can find. You still need to clean and boil the water using kettles or other methods of cooking. But you can still drink the dirty water, it won't kill you if you aren't low on HP. And then you can also use placeable campfire which allows you to chop wood with an axe and set up any campfire anywhere you want. Combining these three mods will allow you to survive and extend your gameplay very useful for ZCP or even survival mode. Well we are halfway through the video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Let's continue with more realism mods by adding food, drink and drug animations which allow your character to play animations for every action you make. There are many extensions for this mod including a backpack open and close animation when you open or close your inventory. Every action you make plays the animation accordingly whenever you make your character drink or eat and also when you take drugs. 
It also includes smoking animations. Next we got Grog Body Health System Redux which adds realistic healing system that is not too complicated to use. This adds localized damage to your character's body parts. For example, if they shoot your character's leg, your character can't run. And if you force him to run, you can reduce the health of your character even more. Plus your character will stun limping. So you must use the correct medicine on your character to heal the affected body part accordingly. Getting shot near your head will also stun your character for a few seconds, adding tinnitus and damaging your character's eardrums and may also cause blackouts. On the other hand, if your character gets shot in the arms, it will make it more difficult to aim, adding more aim shake to your weapon. Another great mod from Grok is Grok Stash Overhaul, which overhauls the stashes you find, allowing you to find more diverse objects and loot in the stashes. Also, it allows for loot to respawn in random stashes and introduces a level looting, which means looting stuff from Cordon will give you more basic things. For example, in Cordon you might find an old AK-47, well, if you're looting stuff from the north side of the map, you might find an M4 in much better condition. It also allows you to find outfits and tools like axes, which are great if you're using placeable campfire mod. If you want to find even more loot, then check out loot boxes mod, which adds loot boxes on NPCs and inside stashes. These loot boxes will need Lockpicks to be opened up correctly. Each loot box will need a certain amount of lockpicks to be used. You can find the lockpicks inside stashes or dead NPCs as well. Some loot boxes will need a special key to be opened, so keep an eye out for them. So let's do a recap. We've got realistic magazines, mods to help us maintain our weapons and craft things we need. Realistic survival mods, so you can live anywhere you want in the map without going to a shop for food or water. Realistic animations and health system, mods that add more incentive to explore the map with a much better looting system. So what is next? The cold system mod. This mod simulates cold and warm temperatures that will affect your character. If your character gets cold, you will start getting fatigued. And if you get too cold or wet because of cold weather conditions, you can get a flu. You can stay warm by drinking warm tea, water or soups. Alcohol can also help. Wearing a heavy padded outfit will also keep the cold at bay. Also wearing mutant pelts can help you with the cold. Staying near a lit campfire will also warm you up. You can customize every aspect of this mod from the MCM menu. Now if your inventory looks like a mess don't worry because with this last mod you can organize your inventories and stashes. Sorting Plus allows you to sort and clean your inventories and stashes with categorized menus you can choose which items are on top of which. As you can see from my inventory, I sort my mags and ammo under each other so I can easily load and unload bullets. You can also mark items to be your favorite or you also mark items you don't want as junk. Junk items will be moved automatically to the seller screen so it can save you some time. While favorite items will be marked with a star and can't be automatically moved through stashes. This mod has a ton of options which can be customized from the MCM menu. 
hope you guys found this mod list useful make sure to subscribe and like as it helps my tiny channel grow thank you for watching this video and i'll see you for another one soon